Tag TV and Tag Radio be seen and heard by both technology users and technology producers throughout the state of Georgia and around the world. Low cost, big benefits, powerhouse online branded video and audio has arrived. Tag TV, Tag Radio, there's a lot more to know. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by Globalspeak.com. New media consultants, corporate video and audio communications, video and audio production and distribution, live and virtual event production. Tag TV and Tag Radio is a service of Globalspeak.com, creatively delivering powerful marketing, video, and audio solutions. Gloom and despair. It's all you ever hear. An endless stream of challenging economic statistics, poor market conditions, and future forecasts. You know what's important? It's important that you be aware of the positive impact our state technology industry plays on Georgia's economy, today and in the future. For example, are you aware that Georgia is ranked by multiple sources as one of the top ten states to do business? That we're ranked number one in the nation for entrepreneurial activity, home to the world's busiest airport and fastest growing seaport. A national leader for business, technology, and entrepreneurship, it's a reality that most of us are simply too busy to know. That's where the Technology Association of Georgia, TAG, comes in, unifying the state's forces of some 13,000-plus and rapidly growing technology companies, representing over a quarter million technologists' workforce. TAG has taken on the mission to tell our state's population and the world just where Georgia leads. Greetings, everyone. It's Thursday, November 10th, 2011, and this is a special Georgia Awareness edition of Tech Talk with Technology Association of Georgia President Tino Mandela. Were you aware that TAG has recently appointed Georgia's first technology evangelist and that in a relatively short period of time has gotten our state's technology industry over 100 million-plus media impressions? The Tech Talk turns to where Georgia leads and TAG Georgia Awareness Initiative as Tino speaks with the association's recently appointed Director of Public Relations, Becky Biggs. Becky's sole focus, building buzz and spreading the word about Georgia's rich technology industry. Becky comes from an extensive background, having worked at global public relations firm Cone & Wolf as a member of its technology and digital practices, and led the implementation of strategies for companies both locally and across the nation. She's a former associate news producer at an NBC affiliate station in Youngtown, Ohio, so she brings a unique dual perspective as both a former PR executive and media news producer. The Tech Talk on Georgia Awareness will brighten your day with its already positive and promising plans for future results as it arms you with the facts and figures that will surprise many and confirm to all of us that when it comes to technology and economic recovery, Georgia leads as Tino explores the results, the progress, and the plans for Georgia awareness with Georgia Technology's new Georgia Technology Evangelist and PR Director, Becky Biggs. Becky, thanks for joining me on Tech Talk today. Thank you for having me. Uh, well, you've been with us since January and uh, done a terrific job with TAG as our technology evangelist. I just love that name, first of all. <laughs> and... Uh, one of the many meaningful things that you've initiated with the team and certainly with board support uh, is our Georgia Awareness Initiative. So can you tell our listening audience a little bit about that? Sure. So our Georgia Awareness uh, Project, which is actually dubbed the Where Georgia Leads Campaign, is a public awareness campaign that is centered around our key industry clusters, which include health IT, information security, financial technology, logistics, and communication services. So we've employed multifaceted elements. Um, we kicked off the campaign with Governor Deal in July at McKesson's headquarters in Alpharetta. And um, since then, we've launched maps uh, for each of our key industry clusters. We've built a website called wheregeorgialeads.com, and that's a really great repository of information. It has a news section where you can find information about what's going on in Georgia's technology community, and it has facts and figures about each of our key industry clusters. We've also launched a social media campaign. We're using the Where GA Leads hashtag and had a lot of great interaction and great information going out on Twitter and Facebook. And um, we've been working with the media to increase the amount and the improve the tone of coverage for the technology industry here. 
And um, one of the most exciting things I think we've done is we've created billboards. So we have a billboard that's live on I-75 North and several billboards that are live at the Hartsfield-Jackson Airport. So this is really an opportunity for the general public to understand that Georgia does have a great technology community and that it's growing. Um, and we also are launching leadership kits will help, which will help arm our technology leadership as they travel to other states or talk with customers about why Georgia is such a great place for doing technology business. And you talked about the uh, the media impressions and the impact, and uh, I know we're well over 100 million media impressions that Correct. have talked about Georgia technology. One of the interesting things that you and I have talked about is just the uh, – the idea that we need to educate people in Georgia, first of all, um, versus uh, looking around the country, around the world. We're certainly doing a little bit of both, but um, uh, I guess we should talk about the importance of that because uh, we're more known for, as I like to say, peaches and pecans <laughs> and peanuts and pine trees. So, And uh, that, that, I think, is a good segue into the purpose of this whole thing. Sure. Um, well, it's very important that we definitely have people in Georgia understanding what kind of a technology community here for a number of different reasons. We have about 13,000 technology companies and 250,000 technology jobs, which we've been promoting throughout the year, but we also have about 5,000 job openings right now. So it's important that we raise awareness for people of all levels, maybe parents who have children who could potentially go into STEM careers, which are science, technology, engineering, and math careers, or college students that are getting ready to graduate and perhaps they have a degree in technology and they're looking outside of Georgia for a job, we want them to stay here and we know that our Georgia companies want them to stay here because there is a need for talent right now. We also think it's important for Georgia because our legislators need to understand what it is that our technology companies need to move here, to operate here, and um, since we're the number one state in the country for entrepreneurial activity, what they need to grow here. So the purpose is really to raise awareness in Georgia, get people excited about what's going on in the technology industry, and make things happen at a legislative level and um, at the state level to encourage more businesses to come here and to keep our companies that are here happy and growing. And, and certainly the Where Georgia Leads initiative, and I think our listeners would expect this, extends far beyond what, what TAG can do. Uh, we're, we like to see ourselves in the in the center of this and in the driver's seat since we're the Technology Association of Georgia, um, you and I agree that there's not any other organization that's better positioned than TAG to drive uh, this effort. Yet there's a lot of other groups that are involved. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Sure. We've had great support from our partners at the Georgia Department of Economic Development and Area Chambers. They've been very excited about the materials that we've been putting together We've been working together to make sure that we are all using the same facts and figures and information so that we're going out there with one solid voice. And we're looking at ways to work together to promote the state better from a technology standpoint, whether it's something that TAG is doing, such as creating a video or posting billboards, or whether it's uh, the chambers going out to other cities and, and talking to businesses who might be potentially interested in coming here and using information and facts and figures that we've all helped put together. It was also very exciting to get the governor involved. Um, that was the first time in a long time that a governor for Georgia has talked about the importance of technology to the state. So having such a visible and um, public proclamation of the importance of technology was just a, a great boost for the technology industry here. We've also had a lot of support from our PR agencies and our member uh, company PR professionals when it's come to the media looking for information on the number of companies that are hiring or helping us find trends and interesting things that are going on here in Georgia, the PR community has been a great support for us for this campaign. Early in the conversation, we talked about clusters, and uh, I think most of our listeners have heard something about clusters, and we've identified a number, as you said, five uh, leading ones, and then a couple where we're, we call ourselves the emerging technology areas. Um, so talk a little bit about the importance of uh, clusters and where we stand today. Well, Michael Porter, who's a professor at Harvard, and he's somebody that you've touched on a lot of times throughout the year, said that clusters mean more resources, which means even greater innovation. And we know from a survey that we did a few years back with TAG's member companies that it's important to them that Georgia promotes the state as a place for technology. It does more to get customers, it helps them attract talent, and it helps them have a voice in their community. So it's important that we highlight these strong clusters because we want other companies to come in supporting those clusters. 
we want talent to come in that can fill the positions that are open in these clusters. And we want our government to understand what it is that these clusters of businesses need, whether it be improved infrastructure, whether it be certain tax breaks and incentives. All of this is important. And for us to promote these clusters helps bring the recognition that these companies need to get um, the initiatives taken care of that they need most to make their businesses succeed. And these companies, uh, these clusters, there are, as we look at, like, logistics, for example, there's over 11,000 companies, and I think the total number we have in terms of revenue generated is uh, over $80 billion mm -hmm. uh, annually. So this is a significant technology, and certainly in these cluster areas, it's a significant piece of what Georgia needs to look at. And I, I like the uh, the fact that the governor reinforced the idea that technology is going to lead us out of the recession. Um, and uh, so what, if we could mention, because we're all looking for success points, or we call our key indicator report, what kinds of things are happening since we started this. Can you point to a couple things? Sure. Well, first of all, as, as you mentioned, having the governor kick off the campaign was huge, and um, that was just a great win for us, um, especially so early in on the campaign. Um, we've also driven a lot of conversation on Twitter using the Where Georgia Leads hashtag. And the great thing about that is all of those tweets go back to our wheregeorgialeads.com website and serve as additional information and additional fodder to prove what a great technology footprint Georgia has. We've also generated over 100 million media impressions through, or 100 million impressions through media and billboard marketing. So that's raising visibility, that's helping people understand that technology is here and it's growing and that there are jobs open. And for uh, people that are listening in uh, for our membership, certainly, how, how can they participate? How can they help us? I know one thing is if you are going out of town, make sure you contact TAG so we can give you some uh, kits that you can take with you because we want people to uh, be our army of advocates promoting Georgia as a, uh, as a leading technology state. But what are some of the other ways that members can participate? Sure. Well, one thing is we're always looking for stories about what's happening here in our technology community, whether you're a company that's hiring new technology employees or perhaps you're a company that's generating some new technology advancement and you just really want to start talking about this. Um, we're always looking for these stories and looking for different ways to market Georgia's technology community. Um, it's also important that when our companies are traveling or when our, our leadership are traveling, as you mentioned, they take some of these facts and these figures and they talk about not only what's happening here in technology, but why Georgia is such a great state to do business. We know that we've got the busiest airport in the world. We've got one of the fastest growing seaports in the entire country. Um, we have great infrastructure, lots of access to broadband. All of these things are important to businesses that are looking for places to relocate. And we also have great schools, and we have a great cost of living and plenty of parks and, and arts and entertainment and food. So there's a lot of opportunity for companies to attract talent. Uh, from other areas of, of the country. And so it's important that we not only talk about technology, but why Georgia is a great place to live and to do business. Well, Becky, thank you for joining me on Tech Talk today. You're doing a great job for us and uh, for the community at large. Uh, we're really starting to drive this uh, technology uh, area, and I think more and more people know that Georgia is a place where, uh, where we lead uh, in terms of technology. So one more shout-out, if you would, for how people can get more information about uh, this whole area. Yes. Visit www.wheregeorgialeads.com. Great. Thanks for joining me in Tech Talk. Thanks, Tina.